up everyone. I've been slaving away on the computer for a little while. It's off. I have little Boo here with me. And the purpose of this video is um, running. So I want to be a runner, dang it. I wanna be, I always watch these people's YouTube videos and Instagram reels and all this stuff of them running all the time and having so much fun. And I guess it was like at the beginning of this year. So it is October now. The beginning of the year like January February ish we do that um, I started running and it was very slow gradual and I was loving it so I was like you know what I'm gonna run a marathon I'd always wanted to run a marathon like for my whole life for whatever reason so I was like this is the time may as well do it I don't have any kids like my work I've been there for a couple years so I'm like confident in that you know like marathon training is such a big stress around your body so I wanted to like I feel like all the others in my area, all the other areas in my life were like pretty well normal. So I was like, now's a great time. So long story short, I ended up deciding on the Tulsa Marathon, which is where I live. And that is in November, so like a month. Well, I ended up getting hurt. I basically just overtrained, went too, too many miles too fast. Um, and so, yeah, I ended up getting a calf injury, had to go to PT for a while. Um, so that kind of put a damper on things. I definitely was like, there's no way I'm going to be ready. So I just deferred until next year. Um, I was really sad about it for a while and now I'm feeling, you know, it is what it is, but kind of starting from ground zero, it feels like as far as like getting my mileage back up. So this last week I just did four miles and definitely still have to run walk. This time I'm definitely taking it slower as, as far as like building up mileage. So thinking about running a half marathon in April, still a while away. We'll see where I'm at in my mileage. I just want to slowly, gradually ramp up my mileage while still enjoying it. Um, I don't want to get too burnt out. So that is my plan for now. I want to become a good runner. I want to be fast. My easy runs are literally like 12, 30, 12 minutes, 30 seconds per mile ish and then I've been using a heart rate monitor I got one for my birthday in September so I've only had it for a month but <coughs> sorry um I used the math 180 formula formula oh my gosh <coughs> <coughs> got something in the back of my throat I used the math 180 formula to calculate like my high and low or like the range I should be in for my easy runs it's like around 154 to 144 so when I run and I wear my heart rate monitor that is what I keep my heart rate between which now not using my watch and using the heart rate monitor I realized I was running way too hard and it can be it's definitely been like a struggle it's been a little bit like demeaning not demeaning but just like humbling yeah that's the word humbling because I have to walk like fairly often and it doesn't take me very long to get my heart rate back down but it is often and so I'm just like dang it like <laughs> I want to be I would just want to be good right now and that's just not how it goes Nick Bear always talks about like stacking bricks and just one day at a time stack another brick stack another brick it's gritty it takes a lot of perseverance it's not always exciting but that is really what makes the greats great is just that consistent over time putting in the work so that is my plan I really want this channel to be like more running focused now because um, that's kind of my passion project at the moment. So it's what I'm enjoying. It's what I want to talk about. It's what I want to do. I see it as I really did not know if I would end up doing this forever because I was like, ah, I just want to run that one marathon. Well, then I started training for it and I felt so lost when I was hurt and like couldn't run. Like it became such a part of like what I love to do and who I was and just like what I like to spend my time doing, if that makes sense. Like Saturday long runs, there's nothing better. Can't believe I'd never experienced that. And now it's like my favorite thing in the world. So long run plus post run coffee. So yeah, welcome to the series of trying to become a, an actual runner. Um, if you saw in the video, you did see, I'm sure, cause I put it before this. I just did some Pilates. I'm just kind of experimenting. I'd been doing strength workouts and I felt like my body needed a little bit of a rest. We've been so busy. We've had weddings back to back in being in the weddings. And so one of them, and then one of them was a destination. So we like drove and stayed overnight. So it's just been 
a lot. So I feel like my body was really telling me to slow down. So I've been doing Pilates workouts the last like two weeks and it's been such a nice change. Um, I'm really enjoying that. So I did that and then I did some computer work and now I'm trying to get myself geared up to go on a run. I don't always want to, that is for sure. I am also loving walking. And so while I'm in this, speaking of, in this stage of rebuilding and listening to my body, I have been going on like longer walks versus runs, if that's what I'm feeling. But at the same time, I'm in that base building trying to like work up my stamina. So it is important at the same time to be mindful of that and to get in my runs. So on a day like today where I'm just not like dying to get out there, I'll probably do just something shorter, a shorter run and then walk after something like that. So let's get to it. What you doing little girl? Look at all those legs. Her fur looks kind of weird. What you doing? It's a lot of legs. <laughs> we had my brother's dog um, for like four days and she's very tired from playing with him so much. Hello, okay, it is obviously a different day. Um, I did end up going on a run. However, I was talking to my mom on the phone and you can't record when you talk on the phone. So. I got out, did a run walk just in our neighborhood, and that is like such a big piece of advice that I have. If you don't want to get out the door and you aren't feeling like a big run, just go and tell yourself you're gonna do one lap around the neighborhood. Um, you can walk, you can run, do whatever, but just getting out the door, it makes such a big difference. That is what I'm doing today, actually. <laughs> um, I've just had kind of a rough week of not feeling great, so I haven't gotten out a ton, but today it's it's kind of like, getting into winter here so it's cold but today it's nice and sunny and 60 degrees so i'm going to take advantage of this i know boo needs to go out and run i need to get out and get in the sunshine while i can take advantage of it so here we go this is our journey to becoming a runner i just watched nicole and runs nicole winter on youtube that is like my go-to hype up run i may have talked about that when I recorded last, I'm not sure, but she's my go-to hype girl on YouTube. It always gets me excited and reminds me why I want to do this. So here we go. <laughs> watching YouTube videos to see how to get her to not do that and like train her better on the leash. But like you can see tension constantly. And so I feel like it kind of makes me like lean back. And I've been trying to work on that too. And so anyway, just over that. We are almost done. Kind of like maybe half a mile left. Okay, three miles done and dusted. We ran at a pretty, pretty hilly course, so it's hilly, it's windy. I know it's just gonna be hard. Um, pace was 12.46, that's with the running and the walking together. That's pretty on par for where I'm at right now. Obviously, I'd like to get faster at some point, but I'm just focusing on getting my base building back in shape to where I don't have to walk, I can just run um, and not feel like super out of breath. Um, I think we're gonna go get a coffee. Bringing it back to the old days, that used to be what, like, why I would get up. Because I'd be like, okay, I'm going to get up in the morning and go on a run and then get a nice coffee. And that was, like, incentive and such a treat. And I haven't gone to Dutch Bros after I ran. They were, like, right by each other in so long. Um, So, yeah, I think I'm going to get a little, a little treat. It's, like, 3.40, though, so I'm going to get half-calf. We'll get Boo a pup cup and then head home.
Lou and I are back home from our running journey and getting coffee. I'm gonna take a bath really quick and then get ready for date night. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked it and I'll see you next time.